What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 260 of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Of course, my name is Blaze. I took a little bit of a break from Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and here I am today on a live special episode 260 um, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Let's get right into the action. I don't have... I think I feel like I missed a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm going to try to look up some stuff while we're playing here so we can kind of get an idea of, of what I missed or if anything else is going on. We do know that the Burning Shadows expansion pack is coming out very soon. Actually, it'll be out uh, this Friday, so I'm going to try to turn the episodes I used to do daily into, at, at, at minimum, a weekly episode, so... Uh, we'll try to hit those up on Tuesdays and see what kind of things are going on. Normally, I would come back on Friday and go ahead and, and play uh, with the new expansion, a new set, and everything like that. Uh, but I'm I'm still kind of easing my way back into the game. So give me a little bit of time. I'm going to be back next Tuesday as well. Uh, but for now, I'm with you today. So let's go ahead and get into the action. We'll go ahead and start up with a uh, versus match here. Um, I'm not too sure like what to expect um, right now. Like I mentioned before, I, I don't even know um, like if there's any new strategies or, or, or anything like that. If I missed anything, I have no clue. So we'll see what the fight is. Uh, I, I selected my Machampion deck. I'll play that a couple of times here and see if that, if that gets me anywhere. It's actually been a, a pretty decent deck for me uh, over the last a little while that I used it. Um, but hopefully it ends up being a solid deck still. Um, for those of you that missed me and wondered where I was, if you saw some of my videos and wondered why I wasn't doing any more, I, I took a little bit of a break from this game to uh, kind of branch out and do some other stuff as well as I really got I got really burnt out on opening new packs of cards and doing daily episodes. And I didn't want to I didn't want this game to be something that I only play because I felt like I had to. So here I am. I haven't played it in a while, and I, I want to play it. So that actually uh, worked out well. So as far as the game goes, I love Pokemon Trading Card Game. I've been playing it for a very long time. Um, since the original base set came out in America, that was my first introduction into the Pokemon Trading Card Game. And I didn't play it for a long, long time, but then I picked it up last year, uh, June 28th last year. Uh, to be exact, and I started playing the online version, and I've loved it ever since. So, uh, if you're like me and you're not sure what to expect in the Pokemon trading card game, um, well, I guess I'm not really like that anymore, but I used to be like that, and uh, I'm quite excited to get back into it. I'm quite excited to make things to make things happen again. So, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I am streaming this live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash L3LAYZE, and you can catch the rebroadcast on my YouTube channel. Episode 260, it's been a long time coming, and I'm, I'm glad to be back. It feels good. It feels feels very liberating to be back into the, into the realm of Pokemon trading card game. So, <clears throat> let's see what kinds of things... We come up against. So I did a lot uh, over the past month. I've done a lot of streaming online. I did I did some Splatoon. I did some Legend of Zelda. I did some what else? Uh, Pokemon shiny hunting was a big thing for me. I've, I've been doing that every Saturday night, and Animal Crossing every Sunday morning. So it's been really cool uh, to get into those games. So if you are a fan of any of those things, check out my Twitch channel. And we will we will have a good time together. So I need to KO something here. Everything on here is 70 HP, which is kind of bad. Uh, the good uh, the bad news is I'm gonna I'm gonna take weakness damage from all of his Pokemon on this Pokemon. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is that I might be able to. Well, he's not attaching any energy cards, so that's kind of the good news. Let's get another basic on the bench here, see if that's going to help. I only have one Carbink break in this deck, if I remember correctly, so um, let's go ahead and give it to him. And I guess we'll shuffle. I, I really don't want to give him more cards. I shouldn't have done that. 
that was kind of a bad idea, I think. Yeah, I, I figured he was gonna he was gonna enjoy that more than I did. Um, let's see. And he's got good cards now, so he can now start to do his attacks. Um, we'll get some evolutions going, and I, I'm fairly confident I should be able to make something happen. Although, if he gets enough energy cards attached, I'm going to have a really hard time again. So, hopefully, this will not end poorly for me. I did help him. I know that I helped him a lot. I'm not really sure how or why or where, but I know that I helped him. And we've got a Gligar. Gligar? Gligor? Gliscor? What is this thing? Gliscor. Um... It'll deal 70 damage if there's no damage counters on it already. So 140 due to the weakness. Uh, not enough to kill me. And I'm cool with that. So the retaliation damage on this would, would be pretty epic. He'd, he'd be much in much better shape to get one of these Pokemon down here powered up. But remember, Tauros GX, the GX attack is super powerful. And the horn attack, or the rage attack, is pretty good, too, if you don't want to waste your GX attack. So, um, I, I highly recommend adding Taurus GX to one of your decks. If you are kind of struggling to see to, to get a powerful Pokemon into your deck, Taurus GX is a great addition. And it can really, it can really help turn the tides of battle, so... I'm not really sure what he's doing just yet. Gonna make a couple of adjustments on my screen here to make to help see things better. That's that's a little better. I usually have things set up a different way, but this is gonna work better for me. Anywho, um, so here I've got Machamp. I don't I don't even have to use any of the other items to get Machamp. So there's that. That's good. I can get something else out here. I guess we'll get Carbink. Um, I'm going to get another supporter card. Although, was there a... There was not any energy cards attached just yet. I don't know why my opponent is struggling to find energy cards. I feel like that's going to... That's going to be difficult for him in the future. I'm going to go ahead and grab that so I can get more cards on the next turn. He might want to use in, and that's totally cool. Um, but here we go with Horn Attack. 60 damage. Not quite the KO just yet, but we're working our way down. Making our way downtown. Probably going to have to make another adjustment or two. Oh, cool. I forgot that was the game chat. I thought somebody was like messaging me or something. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? But it's cool. Uh, you can see my username at the bottom. Well, it's behind me right now. And in a minute here, I'm going to make an adjustment and change uh, the way things are set up so you can see a little bit better. Um, I wanted to get things started at about 7 o'clock tonight. Managed to make it. Uh, but things aren't quite perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try and make that adjustment live on camera. Anyway, so my opponent here is using a lot of Devolution Spray, which I'm not really sure why they're doing that. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. There's also no energy cards, so that's that's even more concerning. I don't even know if this deck is really that polished. Um, I'm going to say it's probably not if, if I'm able to, to get these KOs so quickly. Um... He had a chance to do 140 damage with one energy card, but there was no energy, so that didn't happen. So we got a Machamp over here in the active slot. This Machamp could seriously do some damage. Um, 
it's gonna deal some retaliation damage, which is good because it'll help me do. It's good for me because it's gonna help this Tauros do do some extra damage. But my opponent still has no energy cards in play, so I'm not really sure what the play is here. I mean, if if I were him, I don't I don't know how far he's willing to go to make this work, but I'm thinking he's gonna have to forfeit. So I'm I'm easily able to get all the cards I need. And even if he does get energy attached, I can just discard it, possibly. So I'm not gonna use in. I'll take the 30 retaliation damage. Um, I can take that like six times, so that's cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop the uh, webcam here for just a second so I can move myself. <laughs> Hold tight. I'm going to slide to the other side here, so don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There we go. That's a little better, right? That's a little better. Just a little bit. I'm still around though. I think this is this is gonna look a lot better, um, and I can still set things up in a way that I want them. So I think we're good here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing the attack. I guess I can I can still take the the retaliation damage like it's nothing. So I'm not too concerned with that. And I'm really talking through a lot here, but I mean, there's not really many other options. My opponent basically has to just. Take what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I, I figured that was going to happen. There's no energy cards in play. And it was becoming increasingly more obvious that maybe there just weren't enough energy cards in that deck so there we go mystery box reward one mystery ticket to get me into a tournament later on i've got one right now i just earned a 25 bonus coins though so that's kind of cool i think i earned some more coins there too so oh, that's the 25 that i just got so cool so we'll move on to the next match. I'm going to use this deck again a couple more times, probably three or four more times. I'm going to be online for about two hours today. Um, so if you are a fan of the trading card game, stick around. We're going to have some good times. Um, eventually, I hope to get to episode 300, which will be really cool. Um, that will probably most certainly happen. And I do not want to go first. Do I? I'm going to say no. It's always a tough choice for me to whether or not I want to go first. Because sometimes it has its advantages, sometimes it doesn't. I had a, a comment from someone in my uh, on one of my videos the other day that asked me, is it better to go first or better to let your opponent go first? Um... And my only answer was that it really depends on the deck that you're playing. Some some decks are better than others, and some decks. Um, oh, okay. I guess you can cycle through the mulligan. So I guess if you get multiple mulligans, they don't make you go through the whole hassle again. I guess. Anyway. So yeah, I guess it really does depend on the deck. And when it comes to uh, any deck where I use Talonflame, if Talonflame is my active Pokemon, I'd much rather go second so I can get the first attack and get a couple of cards out. Um, it's not always beneficial to do that, but most times, most times it'll work out in your favor. So um, it, it, really, it really, really, really depends. I can't, I can't even say for sure. If there's a right move, there probably is not a right move, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, 
I would say just play around with it. If you have a new deck and you're not really sure whether or not you want to go first or second, uh, play around with, with the idea both ways because sometimes, you know, maybe, maybe take some notes or write down your win rate when you go first, write down your win rate when you go second, and just see if it has any, any bearing on anything that you've done. Um, see if there's a pattern, I suppose, is probably the best answer I can give you. I'm going to try to discard some energy cards here to see if I can buy some time. Nice. Those are really cool energy cards. Um, and I guess I'll just do the attack here for 60 damage. Yeah. 60 damage. So this Pokemon can do Flying Flip. 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Or 100 damage with Electro Ball. I discarded both of his energy cards. So, uh-oh, that doesn't matter. This is search your deck for a grass and an electric energy card and attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you'd like. He is now able to do 100 damage. That's going to end the game. So, always hate to see a game end that quickly and in that way, but sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Um, is he going to do that every time? That's going to be weird. I don't know if I like that. I didn't just in earn 25 more, so that's weird. Anywho, moving on to the next match here. So we're about 20, well, about 15 minutes in. <laughs> Two matches down, 50% uh, win rating so far. Um, today has been rather interesting. It's the first time back in a while. Like, I didn't play this game for a whole month. Uh, whereas on my YouTube channel, I, I played this game every day, every Monday through Friday for a whole year, and it was I had a really great time uh, building that community and, and talking to people about Pokemon and all that stuff. It was super fun, and I, I want to get back into it, and here I am playing again, trying to get everything started and kicked back up. But I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad you're watching. This is the first, not the first live episode, but this is one of the first live episodes um, that I've ever done. And it's the first in a while, and it's probably the first of many. So I'm going to try to make these a regular thing on Tuesday nights. If you're a Pokemon trading card game fan, definitely come back and check me out every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. That is my... That is my commitment to you, the viewer. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's going on here. We've got uh, Zoroak, Zorua, who's weak to fighting, which is good news for me. Um, this is any psychic or dark energy has two less retreat cost. to hmm I think I want to power this one up just in case this one gets KO'd I don't think it will but there's a distinct possibility that he might be able to make me switch or something and make something crazy happen I don't want that to happen so I'm going to go ahead and try to power this one up on the bench while he does what he wants with Carbink I, can, I have a switch right here so I can, I can switch out back to Carbink if I need to Energy Evolution will let him get an Umbreon, GX. Oh, it's an Espeon. Never mind. Espeon GX. That's unfortunate, but it served its purpose. It gave me a, a it gave me a chop, which I desperately needed on my bench. The downside here is that Psychic types are. He's weak to Psychic types, so if I if I get in a situation where Machamp is out, he's probably not going to have an easy, an easy victory. But. Luckily for me, I do have Tauros GX. So that'll probably be pretty good. I think that's going to work out. It's not going to really help as far as... Like, majorly help. Like, it won't help me, like, kill anything necessarily, but it will get me very close. 
Let's go ahead and drop him on the bench real quick. Let's go ahead and switch this in. Deal some damage. Um, 60 damage. I'd like very much to get... Uh, to get this thing knocked out on this turn. It's not going to happen. He's he's going to have my number at this point. This Carbink's days are numbered. Drastically. Drastically numbered. Um, Espeon GX 200 HP. And the GX attack is going to kill probably at least one of my Pokemon. At least this Carbink is dead. Um, he probably could have done more. He didn't have to burn that attack in order to kill me, which is kind of strange that he did it in the first place. So I think that's kind of weird. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring out... Hmm, it's gonna be a tough one. I'm, I'm guessing Carbink. <sighs> this is gonna be difficult. Very difficult. Because I can't... I can't ensure that he's gonna be able to survive. That'll buy me some time at least, but it's not gonna be... It's not perfect. I'd like there to be something else, but that's not... That's not perfect. So this, I have to be able to do something to this Carbink, or to this uh, Espeon, otherwise I'm going to have a really difficult time. Um, Stand-in can switch the active, and Mind Jack, 30 damage for each of my benched. I don't know why I'm evolving him <laughs> I mean mm. I'm not sure what's gonna happen here he's probably gonna be able he's probably gonna have his way with me here I don't like it I don't like it and this there's 30 more damage to okay so that was because of that so it normally does 30 did 30 extra because of the uh because of the tool card there. So I was playing this game back when um, back when these cards were when all the GX cards and Sun and Moon and um, Guardians Rising came out. I, I was playing this game at that time. So I'm, I'm familiar with all the cards that are out now. I just haven't played it in a whole month. So let's try to make something happen what do you think discard an energy card maybe nope not this time okay i'm not sure if this is a good idea or a bad idea not yet anyway i haven't attached an energy card yet so i can get this car bank ready And maybe another Machop, I guess? I don't know if I want to do that or not. He's going to have a pretty easy time already killing this Mach Machoke, so... Hum. Hum. I don't know if I like it. Of course. Of course. Getting rid of my uh, Stadium card. Sycamore. That's certainly going to help. It's good to be back. It's very good to be back playing the game again. I, I, I'm i like... I'm actually uh, thinking about how much I enjoyed playing in the past. It was uh, it was really fun. And I miss it. I miss, I miss playing, so... Uh... 
Uh, let's get rid of this one. Ooh, I don't, I don't want to use this, but I'm going to anyway. And I'll go with Carbink, I suppose, right here. It might come in handy, it might not, but I have no cards now. So I'm, I'm really in a rough spot because I, I'm very much so relying on the next card to do anything. So if that next card is not a wonderful card, we're going to have some problems. So ideally, it would be an in, or I'd even be okay if it was a... Uh, probably should have done this instead. Oof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have an idea. I can't do it right now, though. Okay, I have an idea. It's probably, it's probably not going to work. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not thinking clearly enough to know if this is going to work or not. But basically, I'm going to try to retreat him if I get another energy card. If I retreat him, bring him up, I can use the attack Diamond Gift. Uh, to deal 40 damage, which is not enough to kill him. But I can then grab two more energy cards from the discard pile and put them here, thus curing the confusion, not having to worry about that. Um, but also... Uh oh Well, he's dead. <laughs> oh, gosh. I forgot about this thing on the bench. I wasn't even thinking about that. That is crazy. And it's over. So, two out of three are losses today. I'm going to switch up the decks here in just about... Uh, maybe two more matches here, just to make sure we get a decent uh, barometer of, of matches. But so far, not so good. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's uh, It's been an interesting, interesting day. So, why is that sound? What is, is that sound the person saying hello? That's twice I've heard that sound now. It's so weird. I have a good deck. Oh, thank you. I don't even know if you know. Ren 1010. I guess I'll say... That was close. <laughs> so I'm probably going to get nailed. Um... I'm not sure what deck this person has, but I'm probably going to get totally nailed. And this deck could stand to be a little bit better. It's not the greatest deck ever. I built it um, a little while ago before Sun and Moon came out as a direct counter to all the EX Pokemon that were out there. Um, I ended up uh, having to restructure it uh, because of the new cards and some of the cards that were in there were no longer available for standard play I'd much rather play standard than expanded so I, I restructured it to what it is now and it's it's okay it's it's all right it's not wonderful but it's okay still working out the kinks still working out the bugs um, in about two matches or so I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing the uh, the gold deck duck goal duck deck which actually is uh, one of my favorite decks to play. It's really fun if you can get it working. It's If you can't get it working, it's really tough. But if you can get it working, it's one of the better decks out there. So We'll try to discard this energy card, I guess. Yeah. Get that attached. Maybe get some shuffling going on here. Ooh. Um... I guess. Not quite what I had in mind, but I guess. I mean, I don't really have a choice. I have to go with that, technically, right? Um, well, 
There's good news and bad news. There may be better news. Yes. So the good news is I can deal 80 damage. The better news is that that's going to double to 160 damage. The bad news is that it's not going to kill him. So if he has another double colorless energy, it's going to destroy me. Um, there it is. So... That's unfortunate. That's not good. Pretty much I'm dead. So this is going to be a quick match. I'm probably going to change out to the Gold Duck, Gold Duck deck uh, sooner rather than later because this has not been as fruitful as I would have liked. I mean, it's fine, but not quite what I was hoping for. Um, I don't know why he'd want to use Lysander right now. That, yeah, I was going to say it wouldn't make much sense, but 200 damage is a pretty pretty good amount. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that Pokemon back into my hand so I can use it again. Otherwise, we're going to have a really tough time. Of course, he has Lysander now, so... He's going to kill this one. And that is even more unfortunate. So. Well, that would have been perfect if uh, that was. <laughs> I really should have held on to that energy card and. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been great. But pretty much it's over now. So I'm going to do one more match with this deck and, and see where that lands me. I'm at uh, one of four. One of four matches won with this deck. And uh, um, not my best moment. Not my, not my most successful um, endeavor. But it's all good. It's all good. So, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by, tuning in, hanging out. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be on for at least another hour and a half. Um, I figure since I'm not doing as many videos per week that I can at least stay online uh, longer per video. I guess it's the advantage sound. That's like the third time I've heard it, and it's blowing my mind each time. Uh, so this update's brand new. I, I, I don't remember anything about this update. I didn't read the notes. I just updated the game and started playing. So here we are. Ooh. This could be good. Could be good. I'm not going not gonna to make any promises just yet. No demands. Could be good. Shaman is uh, kind of a bad card to start out with. Not what you'd want to have as your starting Pokemon. Its ability lets you draw cards from your deck until you have six cards in your hand. And if it's your first Pokemon, you can't use that ability, so that's unfortunate. We've got Tapu Lele getting a supporter card from the deck and putting it into their hand. Bridget will let my opponent grab any three basics, I believe. Or one basic Pokemon. Or any three basic Pokemon or one basic EX Pokemon. So a GX is not an EX, so you can grab that and two others. This is probably going to be a quick 
loss for me. Um, and that's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really mind that much. Although, what is that? It's got a resistance to fighting, so I have to be really careful there. I'm going to try, I'm going to put it here, but I think that's a mistake. I have a feeling it's going to come back and bite me in the butt that I should have put it to the other one. I just have this feeling I should be building my bench instead of my active. So if you're out there in lurker land or if you're just tuning in for the first time, thanks for stopping by. Um, I know that... Um, what's I going to say? There are many other Pokemon trading card game channels out there. But I think mine's pretty cool. <laughs> I usually will talk about a new card that's coming out, and I might I might actually be looking for a new card here in just a minute. Let's pull one up and see what kind of things are new and what kind of ideas come to mind. Um, Sky Return does 30 damage. Why didn't it do damage? I don't know if I want to do this because it's going to deal 120. However, if my opponent has a double colorless energy, which they do, because they just use Sky Return, he's dead. So I should I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited. It's okay. Working out the kinks. We're getting things back together, back to the way they used to be. I also lost a lot back then, so hey, it's not about winning or losing. It's about enjoying the game and experiencing the game and having a good time. That's all it's about. That's all it's about for me. Um, I'm kind of hoping they make a, a, quick, <laughs> a quick match here because... I don't want to have to deal with this for too much longer. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I guess I can get this carbink back out. I'm not sure if that's the best um, card to use. It's going to help me get Pokemon back into my hand. I'm going to try to survive here a little bit longer. I was going to wait to use that, but I think I'm going to try to survive. I don't want my opponent to get the jump on me. With a bunch of energy attached or anything like that. If I let that go without using the team flare grunt, I probably would have ended up with... Uh, with more energy cards on the bench than I'm willing to deal with. So now he's probably going to get a double colorless energy and go right to that Tauros. That's a likely scenario. No, Trevenant with the psychic energy. Um, we got a switch. Trevenant can do silence fear. Put three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. And the other attacks, Poltergeist, 30 damage times... Uh, each trainer card you find in the in the opponent's hand, Horn Leech for ninety damage heals thirty. Um, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I know it's a bad idea. I feel like I'm making all the same mistakes I made before all over again. <laughs> Versus Seeker, another Sycamore, A. Eh? Sycamore, A. Eh? Oh, Lysander, cool. That's going to get out Tauros. My opponent will just switch out to his Tauros and get the drop on me. Oh, never mind. 
30 damage each, huh? Are you being serious right now? Okay. I couldn't attack you anyway, so... Just chip away at my uh, Pokemon until there's nothing left. Chip away at my Pokemon just like my dignity. <laughs> and this is not going to help. It might help, but it's yeah, it's not going to help. I should have saved it. It's all I had, though. It's the only move I could do that was, that was safe. And in fact, he's probably going to get a ton of KOs. Silent Fear. Now this Tauros could get powered up to the point where it takes out all of his Pokemon. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, but I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm. It's not going to happen. The other attack is 90 or 30 damage. Yeah. Oh, it's done. Okay. Sad face. <laughs> that was an angry face by accident, but sometimes I make an angry face by accident. It's part of my charm. Anywho, let's go ahead and change decks here, because that was uh, a little embarrassing, I think. This is the deck I was talking about. Golduck is OP. It usually wins a lot more, so I only won one out of five on that last one, and some of those are pretty brutal, so... You know, maybe that deck that deck needs to go back to the drawing board and we could try again. But I mean it happens. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. It definitely happens. Yeah, so that's that's the advantage sound. I don't like it. It makes me sound like somebody just showed up. <laughs> like in a chat room. It sounds like the chat room, like someone's here chime. I keep looking at my chat room thinking, oh cool, somebody's here. It's, it's not. It's just it's just the advantage sound. So this one is... This is not the best start, but it's not a terrible start either. I might, I might have a couple options here. Especially if my opponent mulligans multiple times. I might have... Might have some good, some good options. Nikki85, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Always nice to see you. Uh, do I want to go? I want to draw a card, yeah. Okay. Pokemon Cross Stitch tonight. That's what's up. Pokemon Cross Stitch. I, uh, I've seen, like, my coworkers at work actually have some uh, like Pokemon like plushy things that they made out of yarn. I think that's what you're talking about. Um, but they were really cool. Like I thought they were really neat the way that they uh, the way they came together. Um, I don't have the patience for something like that, so I don't I don't I haven't bothered to do anything with those. But sounds kind of cool. Put that here. Um, well, that'll work, probably, right? Do I need to do that? Nope, it's like picture, flat and made out of X's. Oh. So, I don't think I need to do this, hold on. I'm going to do it anyway. So is it like a, like a canvas, kind of, or something? Each pixel is an X. Okay. Oh, I know. I, th I think my mom did some stuff like that when I was younger. I think I remember seeing some of it. And you put thread through it or something like that. Ooh. He. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't want to use that, but I kind of have to. Um, I'm only doing this to get, to get more cards on the draw. That's the only reason I did that. So here we go. Three more cards, not the cards I was looking for. Um, I don't know why autocorrect changed yes to he. I don't know either. That's weird. Very weird. Um, I 
guess I'm done, but I don't want to be done. This isn't this isn't enough cards. In fact, I'm gonna be killed right now. This is this is the end of the game. Like boys to men. It's the end of the road. So dead. So dead. In oh that might help. Okay. If it's not the end of the road. Sixty damage. Psyduck. That's good. Um, I'm still probably going to get killed pretty hardcore. Okay. What's that attack do? Can't retreat 40 damage. Mm, I'm going to regret this. Oh, maybe I won't, actually. What did I just use? I didn't use anything. Can I use... Okay, so... I guess I'll go ahead and use Hug. <laughs> 40 damage. Um, can't retreat. Really hope my opponent does not have any grass energy up there. If, it, if they do, I'm kind of in a tight spot. But I think it's going to be okay. Bridget? What's that do? Can't remember. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon EX or three basic Pokemon. Oh, we saw that last game. Of course, there's a grass energy involved um, I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure that uh, I can survive I keep discarding all of his energy cards and this is gonna confuse both of us so this might help me if he's able to get any kind of energy attached It could, it could work. It's very risky, though. He might, have, he might flip tails here. If he flips tails, he's going to hurt himself. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I wanted him to do. So now, I'm in a really tough spot. And we're doing this. I'm just going to say it's done for now because I feel like I don't think he's going to flip tails on this next. I, I, I feel like it's going to be a heads flip and game over, basically. And that's fine, I guess, but I don't want it to be fine. I, I don't want that to be the end. He only needs three more KOs, and that's it. Of course, now he can attach two more energy cards and retreat if he wants to. Um, possibly do 180 damage. Hmm. Goodness. I don't think he's going to do 180 damage, but he could. 150 with the with the GX attack, maybe. Of course, he's going to different Pokemon, so that's probably in his best interest. Good. <laughs> so, I might be able to KO him. If I can get everything set up correctly, I might be able to KO him. Yes, yes, yes. But he's going to have an easy time. Of getting me back. So that's that's the downside. Um, 
Leandra Self, hello, welcome to the stream today, playing some Pokemon trading card game online. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, let's see. Oh, drat. It's not enough. <laughs> drat. Uh, so I, I played this game uh, quite a bit on my uh, on my YouTube channel. I played it pretty much every every Monday through Friday, and I did that for a whole year. And I got kind of burnt out on uh, on playing the game every single day. So I ended up just taking a break for the last month. And at this point, I'm back into the game, playing it probably playing it once a week. How do you win? There are two ways to win this game. Actually, three ways to win this game. If you deal attacks to knock out your opponent, so it's you, this is your active Pokemon, this is your opponent's active Pokemon. If your Pokemon defeats the opponent's active Pokemon, um, and there are no more benched Pokemon to take its place, <clears throat> then you win. If you knock out six of your opponent's Pokemon, well, I should say every time that you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon, you get to draw one of these prize cards. If you draw six prize cards, you win the game. Ouch. Ouch. Um, and then also, if your opponent runs out of cards in their deck, then you win the game. So there's some good ways to win there. Some of those are more common than others, but there are a few different ways to win. It's it's not too bad. It it can be it can be different. It's very uh There's a lot of strategy to the game and there's a lot more like um I did not want to press done. Oh no. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there's a lot of strategy to the, strategy to the game if you uh if you are looking for a lot of strategy, so um it can be it can be very challenging. It can be very fun too, and very rewarding if you uh, if you play it correctly. The deck that I'm playing right now is a very popular deck. It's a variation that I came up with of a very popular deck that people play. Um, I have not been able to use it uh, to the best of my ability just yet. So it's definitely not. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess I, I guess is all I got so he has one prize card left if he knocks if he knocks out any of my Pokemon on this turn which he will then I'm gonna lose so that's the way that cookie crumbles now I, I would not have been able to do anything to him it would not there's nothing I could have done that could have made this a victory so pressing done at the wrong time would it really wasn't that big of a deal but I should have uh I should have been more patient and done it correctly. Oh, well. It's all good. So this person's probably going to take their time. Moving things around. But this game is... I've been playing this game for a long, long time, and I'm I'm, I'm no expert. I'm definitely no expert, but I really enjoy playing, and, and it's, it's very fun. Um, Berserk 150. 150 on the Berserk, so there we go. That is the first loss from this deck. Let's do it again. I guess we'll just keep on moving until we get <laughs> more and more. Um... Oh, I got the advantage this time, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one last match, and then I'll go into... Um, I'll open up a pack of Guardians Rising cards. The newest expansion, Burning Shadows, is coming out on Friday, so that's going to be really cool. I am pretty excited for that. I don't have anything saved up, though, so that's the downside. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Put that there, and then put this Remarade down and get a side deck down, too, with this Nest Ball on my first turn. I'm not going to try to attach this here. I'm going to attach it to Psyduck and see if that 
gets me anywhere. Just to have it, just just to save it. Um, super Wi-Fi battle, what is going on? I uh, want to try playing a game I made in 48 hours after that Pokemon trading card game. Uh, probably not. I'm, I'll be playing this game for another uh, another hour or so. Um, thanks for the offer. I appreciate it. But uh, after that, I'm probably going to log off and play some Splatoon for a while. So, But thanks for the offer. Here we go. It's not looking too bad. It's a bummer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good luck with winning. Thank you. I feel like that's a good motto for life. Good luck with winning. Good luck with winning. Go here, we'll go here. I really need to go ahead and use in, but I'm afraid that's gonna help him out more than it's gonna do anything else. And this Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do that. If I can get something. I don't have any energy cards in the discard pile, so there's that. Attach here, or drop there, drop here. Yes, that's fine. He's probably going to go ahead and deal enough damage for the KO, 60. I've got potential, though, to go ahead and, and get the KO. And we've got a Vulpix on the bench, which could be bad. Uh, Ninetales GX is pretty good pretty good Pokemon, so... That's exactly what we're, what we're expecting on the next turn or two. Level Ball... Getting those levels. Cosmium. Cosmoum. Cosmo. Cosmoum. I don't know how to say that. It's not Cosmium. That's what I've been saying for the whole time. Oh, it's Cosmog. I just can't read, apparently. Reading was not my first thing. Um, I guess we'll go over here. Get that attached. Go here. Um, let's get something else evolved. Possibly, let's get a star me evolved. That's all I could do anyway. So, I used to play TCG a lot, but then I bought an expensive deck built on FX, and they released Pokemon Ranger. <laughs> I, uh, I played for a really long time in, in the original base set game, years and years ago. And it was, uh... It was really fun. I had a really great time uh, back then. I haven't played it much, you know, as far as like I took I took a huge long long break from the game. Um, after, I think it was after like, gosh, I want to say. I think it was after the gym leader set came out, which is I mean long long time ago didn't play it for a really long time and then decided that I wanted to start playing again so I got into the online game which is really it's a lot it's a lot better than I expected out of a Pokemon online game um, but there's there's a lot of new cards and there's a ton of new Pokemon ton of new strategies and uh, I know what you mean about about buying a deck that uh, that uh, that had certain, like, like a, a, a metagame deck, I suppose you can call it. Um, I think I had a... This is not going so well. <laughs> I, th I thought I had a, uh, a Blastoise Rain Dance deck back in the day, and it was, it was pretty good. Um... But yeah, Dex Dex got Dex got nerfed pretty hardcore as time went on because they kept coming out with new Pokemon that have higher HP, and they came out with new Pokemon that had 
um, you know, better attacks. I mean, some of the GX attacks in this game do 200 damage. Um, I remember when I was playing, when I first started playing, the highest HP Pokemon was like, I think 90, maybe 120. Um, and 120 was like, that was, that was a lot of HP. But now, now it's super buff. They have so many new cards. And of course you can't use those old, old cards anymore because not only are they underpowered, but they're also, um, not valid for standard play. But that's not such a bad thing because they, they have newer variations of those cards now. So they came out with a deck called, or an expansion called Evolution. Um, and that one actually had remakes of some of the of some of the original cards. So it was really cool how they came out with those. Uh, the artwork was the same and some of the attacks were the same, but they did more damage and those Pokemon had more HP. So they gave them kind of a buff, which was really neat. I remember as a kid only putting the Pokemon cards with more than 100 HP in my binder. <laughs> Most of those were like hollow foil cards. I don't have any here, but this this is an example of a hollow card in this game. The way that they do it is they put this effect on it to make it look like it's a special rare card, and it is. It's kind of hard to get that card. And they have regular cards too, so there's there's quite a few cards out there. I really need to kill this thing. Gosh. I don't have any energy cards in the discard pile right now. Your Staryu and Starmie are from the Evolution set, right? Yep, they sure are. Um, this is the Starmie from Evolutions. It has Space Beacon. I don't remember if that's actually an attack that... Um, that or an ability that they added into this or if it's something that uh that it always had but star freeze was the attack i think it did maybe less damage but also paralyzed if you flip heads so here we go double jet this is the this is the strategy i'm trying to get to here 120 damage I've got three Shaman EX in Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. That's actually really good because I don't have any Shaman EX in this game. It's nuts. I've been playing this game for a while and I've not gotten a single, not one, not one Shaman EX. I got three, yeah, three Shaman EX. And it's disappointing because I know I play this game a lot. Perhaps I should start playing again just got really low on motivation after the nerfs. Yeah, that'll definitely happen. They have a new set coming out on, on Friday, uh, Burning Shadows. So it's, uh, I think it's against the terms, but I bought them from people. I think it might be. I don't remember. I don't remember reading the terms as far as like the, the decks. Um, in, in this game, I don't, I don't know if they... They probably have some some clause somewhere that says you can't buy, you know, one of one of the in-game decks, or you can't buy a deck from somebody else for use in this game. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I don't I don't think you're allowed to buy online trading card games for real money. I think they, if, if it's not in the terms, I'm certain that they would prefer that you didn't do that. But I'm pretty sure it's in the terms. Um, like, if they found out that you did that, they certainly would try to do something about it. So here I'm going to try to get Pokemon Stretcher so I can get my Golduck back out from the discard pile here. If you're wondering what I'm doing. From the discard pile back into your hand. Golduck. Um, and Starmie here, the ability is that you can discard a card in your hand 
and get two energy cards from the discard pile back into your hand. Which means I can do this attack again. Double jet. 60 damage should be enough for the KO. I don't need to do two of them. But I like this game a lot. This is one of my favorite games. Um, that that Starmie card is dope, though. Dope. It, it is, this is one of my favorite decks ever. It's really fun to play. And if you play it just right, you can you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. So This card is kind of a pain in the butt. So if I can do anything about it, I need to. And that Toxapex card, Toxapex GX... It's crazy. I'll say I'll show you the, the card in a second here. It's nuts. Yeah, most I'm pretty sure all water decks definitely benefit from having Octillery in them. Um, I would not recommend a water deck without Octillery. Did he do 130 damage? Is that what he did? Lysander. Hundred and sixty. Scatter shot, okay. Which is not the attack that I thought he was gonna do. Okay, let's see. Uh, double jet for 120 damage should be enough. It's not going to be the KO. Uh, 40 damage times the amount of psychic energy. It's going to deal a lot of damage on the next turn. So that's going to be... He's dead. But I still can I still can pull something off here. So hopefully it won't be that big of a deal. Um, tried getting some Octillery. It's nuts how difficult it is. I got really lucky and got one Octillery. And somehow... Throughout the course of playing just the online game and opening up random boosters, I got another Octillery, so I was able to put two of them in my deck, in this deck. Worked out pretty well. And then opened an entire booster box from that set and didn't get a single one. Goodness. Oh no, Starmie's down. That's awful. Doesn't really matter though, because I've got these, so... I didn't see that he used any kind of a Lysander there, so interesting. No energy cards. I've got this. And actually, it's 120, right? I need to do 160. 40 will do it, but I need to make sure he's dead. So let's go ahead and do double jet. Actually, you know what? I already used it. I already used a supporter card, so I don't want to do that again. Uh, 40 will do it. KO. I got to get some. So next turn, I'm going to use this Versus Seeker to get a... Uh, Skyla. And then go ahead and get another stretcher so I can get Starmies back into my deck there because that's I'm in a situation now where I can't like that thing's going to kill me like I can kill it which is great but I'm in a situation now where I need Starmie to get those energy cards back energy retrieval a eh? What's Mallow do again? I can't remember. Probably something devastating. Oh. Search your deck for two cards. Put them back on top of it in any order. So he did. That attack does uh, 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. So he just wrecked me on that. So here... I pretty much have to have 
everything I need. We're going to be okay, at least for this turn. That Trubbish is going to get KO'd. I'm going, I'm going way out of my way here to get the cards I need back into my deck. I may not even win this one. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I, I guess that one. Or I should do Psyduck. How about that? I like that. Um, this one we're going to get Star U back out onto the bench. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and draw a card. Hmm. Which I can attach. Right there, I suppose. Get these two energy cards back out, or at least one of them. And deal the 120. Oh, I can use this again. Let's do it. Ah, oh, perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. So this is a threat. On the bench here, 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So it's going to do 60. So that, that could be bad. Um, this one, Spike Cannon for 30 damage times the number of heads, flip four coins. Super Intense Poison poisons the opponent's active Pokemon, but you put 10 damage counters on that Pokemon between turns. And Total Shelter, 150 damage, prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So that's going to be pretty devastating if it happens. So this one, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm dead. Good game. So I've only won one match today, but that's okay. I mean, can't win every time. I'm still kind of getting back into the into the swing of things. Um, it's been a little bit, a little while. I was on a hiatus for a, a small, a small bit there. So, you know, let me go ahead and open up a pack of Guardians Rising cards. Haven't opened up a pack of cards in a while. Let's see what I get inside. I mean, it could be anything. So, my luck, it's not going to be anything super good, but it could be something. You never know. Guardians Rising, let's go ahead and redeem those. Go to the collection. Hopefully, I can get another 50 points, or 50 tokens here soon, and go open a second pack on this video today. That'd be kind of cool, I think, but I have to think more clearly about my matches. So let's take a look at these cards real quick and see what I got. Ooh. So we got Sharpedo, 90 HP. Jet Headbutt is only 70 damage. We have got Comfy, 70 HP. Flower Shield, each of your Pokemon that has any fairy energy attached to it can't be affected by any special condition and remove any special condition affecting those Pokemon. And Sweet Kiss for 30 damage. Uh, your opponent draws a card. We've got Sableye with 60 HP. Limitation, your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand during their next turn. And of course, Scratch does 20 damage. Multi-switch, moving energy from one of your benched Pokemon to your active Pokemon. Sligu, 70 HP. Division, search your deck, flip to two Sligo and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. And Tackle for 20 damage. Talo with 60 HP. Reckless Charge for 20 damage. Your po This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Phantump, 60 HP. Tackle for 10 and Confuse Ray will confuse your opponent's active Pokemon. We've got Machop, 60 HP. Dynamic Punch for 50 damage. I like this card a lot um, compared to the other Machop, which only does 10 damage, but has 70 HP. It's not a bad trade-off, but you have, to, you have to get two damage, or two cards onto this Pokemon in order to do a 50, 50 damage, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a risky trade-off. Carvana is 50 HP, bite for 10 damage. 
Bar Boach with 60 HP, Hook for 10, and Mud Slap for 20. And a super cool Fairy Energy card. So, let's get back into the swing of battles here. I want to see if I can actually use the energy. Cool. For a while, this energy was not showing up in the, in the game. Like, no matter what you did, it just was not there. I'm going to go ahead and edit this deck real quick and change out my energy so it looks a little, a little cleaner. Uh, Golduck is OP. Let's get that deck edited here. I actually, I wanted to look at some of the trainer cards too. Um, there were a couple of trainer cards I wanted to try to test out here and see if I can make something work. Okay. So... The ones I'm talking about specifically are, I really don't need these. They haven't really come in handy all that much. These, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should use something different. Um, let's go ahead and add another Skyla. And... There's a Professor card I wanted to add in. Kukui. And then one more card. I have one more spot here. Let's add in... Goodness. I guess Sycamore would probably be okay. I don't, it may not be the best idea, but it might work out. It'll give me more options as far as what, what cards I'm, I'm trying to get to. So if I can't find the right one, that card may come in handy to help me get that, to get that card. So back into Versus, back into Standard Play, and we'll do some more matches. Um, rounding out the back half of the episode. We just hit halftime. Um, that was kind of a halftime show. Opening up that pack of cards. We'll have a finale if I can get to 200 tokens, and we'll open up another pack of cards. Uh, let's see what we got, though. If nothing else, I have that un uncommon chest I can open up, so that will be fun. Uh, let's see. You lost... You lost the coin flip, you loser. <laughs> so I didn't see what, what deck this person was using. I didn't... I think I had something blocking it on my screen, so I couldn't tell. Um, here's a weird scenario. I'm not really too sure how I feel about it. Beldum... So Steel, I'm guessing Solgaleo is going to be a part of this a part of this deck, most likely. That worked out. I guess we'll get that on there. And just go ahead and draw seven new cards. What do you think? What do you say? I like it. Ooh, what do I want to do here? I don't I think I want to go ahead and get. Octillery, he's probably the best. Not Octillery, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. That was that was a bad move. I meant to get the uh, Remoraid. Totally messed that up. It's not probably not going to cost me the game. But it might be the one mistake that does cost me the game. So... Vulpix, is that what that is? Yeah. What's Beacon do? Okay, search your deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Interesting. Interesting. Got Metagross coming out, although he retreated instead. Hmm. 
I think he needs Metagross for some reason. I need to, I need to kill it if I can. Two more basics coming out onto the bench there. Tapu Lele and another Cosmog. Great. Well, I can get Starmie, I guess. Kind of need Starmie. Is that... I don't have anything in a discard pile, so I was kind of like, why is that not doing anything? There's nothing, there's no energy cards in there. So, ooh, it kind of worked out. Not fully, but it kind of worked out. I guess we'll just have to do 60. That's, that's enough for the KO. Cool. For some reason, I was thinking there was more than 60 I had to do, and I didn't think 60 was going to be enough. But it did 80. So why did it do 80? Why did it do 80? I'm confused. I don't know why it did 80 damage. I'm looking at all the different reasons why it could have done that. Unless it was just 60. I looked at it wrong. It did 80 damage right here. Oh, because the, oh, the, the Kukui, I'm just, I'm out of it. I'm losing my mind right now. It's been a, it's been a long month. I haven't had, I haven't played this game, in a whole month. Oh, I think he knows. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Great. What did that GX attack do? Search your deck for up to five cards, put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. That is, it sounds like a really, really good attack on paper. I'm going to be honest with you. It sounds like a super good attack on paper. But if I get in, it's done. Like, he's not going to have those cards anymore. So, he better hope and pray that I don't get in. And I didn't, so that's fine. Um... Alright, a couple things I want to do. I got to use this. I should uh, I should have retreated first. Darn it. Another mistake that may cost me the game. Uh, it didn't really. That's cool. So we're good there. Um, Stretch will help me get the... Re the next card that I need, but I don't want to use it yet. Uh, this one, I can get the two energy cards I need. 120 damage. It's not going to be enough for the KO. I don't know. Um, he's probably going to be able to do whatever he wants on this turn, so... Something to keep in mind here is that my opponent just drew five cards of his choice, put them into his hand, and now he can do basically whatever he feels like doing. Um, ability for another energy card. And that's going to be probably a KO, right? Yeah, 150. Ouchie. Um, K 
can't use the next the next the attack this turn again, so that might help. Um, evolving into this Reamer Ray will definitely come in handy as well. I can do that. Get that stretcher out here. I'm lucky I had that. I don't know what I would have done without it. I was very lucky. Um, let's go ahead and draw cards first. Maybe there's something better I can discard. Let's let's use N, because I, I need to make my opponent shuffle. I'm not sure how many of those cards he has left, but he needs <laughs> he needs to get them out of his hand. Psyduck, right there. I guess I can drop that too, just just in case. I already have two cards in my hand, so let's go ahead and just do the attack. Now my opponent can't use this attack on this turn. He can retreat or use a switch to get a different Pokemon out there to do the attack. So I guess we'll see what happens. Rare candy for another Metagross. Ultra Ball. So Metagross will be coming back out. This is going to be really close, folks. It's going to be one of the closest matches I, I, I play <laughs> today. I kind of thought that was going to happen. Max Potion, that's a good call. It's a really good call. Darn it. <laughs> 150. Or at least enough to get the KO. 230. Okay. See if I can get an a Psyduck out here. Do I have any more energy cards in here? I've got one. One more energy card. Three more cards coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna end up running myself, running my deck dry here. If I keep, if I keep getting cards out of the deck, I'm gonna end up running it dry. I don't want to do that, but I also really need to win here. Which I think I've I've kind of written myself into a corner. I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll see. Now my opponent has the ability to go ahead and get cards out of the discard pile into onto this Pokemon. So as long as he's able to do that, I don't really have many options. Um, so I'm I'm predicting a, a very swift <laughs> loss from here on out. <clears throat> oh, there's three now. Great. Great. I'm really excited for three of them now. Um, I don't even think I have any more Golducks. I think I'm out. Oh, good. Let's do this. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try it. Oh, 
only have eight cards left in the deck. Try and switch that one out real quick. Um, I don't even have... I don't want to do this either, but I'm gonna. I don't like where this is going. I really don't. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that, is that is that the thank you emoji. I don't know what that one is. For sure, Matt. For sure, Matt. How's it going? Welcome to the uh, stream today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, currently, I'm getting wrecked in uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So, you know, it's all good, I suppose. Um, is that? That's not even enough. Um. <laughs> well played. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try to get a Starmie out. This is really just desperation stuff at this point. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to, to do anything to this person at this time. <laughs> I'm just hanging on by a thread here. Get rid of that one. I think I have an in in here, which helped me get a couple extra cards into the deck. Not very many. Let's do it. I really can't do anything, so maybe I can paralyze him for the whole match. Nope, I guess not. Oh, well. I get it. Well played. Thank you. Thank you for the, for the sentiment. This deck's really good, though. I've seen this deck in the past. It's a really good deck. If you can get it working, it's one of the best decks I've come against. So I will, I'll give him some props there as far as having the uh, having everything he needs. So um, I don't think I have any secret rare energies to be honest with you. I don't I don't have a whole lot of, of much. <laughs> um. So I think I have a I think I might have like one hollow foil energy, but that's probably it. I, I don't think I have anything else, and it's it's most likely trade locked to me anyway, so I can't trade it. Um I started playing today about an hour and a half ago, but I've been playing since the original base set game came out. It was uh gosh, like 15 years ago, uh, something like that, and I, did, I didn't play for a very long time, and then I came back to it once, um, right before Steam Siege came out, and I've been playing since then, so it's a fun game, I, I really do enjoy playing it, I got a little burnt out because I was playing the game every every Monday through Friday on my YouTube channel, so I did it there for a while, and it was really, really fun, but I got... I got really tired of playing every single day, so I had to take a break from it and come back. And uh, here we are at episode 260 of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and uh, doing a live stream on Twitch. And uh, eventually, this video will make it over to YouTube. So, did you play during the Delta series? I didn't. I didn't play during any of those. I actually, uh, Gym Leader Set Two. I think that was when, uh, after that set came out, I stopped playing entirely. So I, d I didn't get Rocket Returns. I didn't get any of the Delta series or anything like that. Uh, my nephew has some of those cards, and he actually 
he gave me like a whole like shoebox full of of Pokemon cards that uh, are from those sets, and they they look really strange, very strange sets. But back when I when I was first getting into Pokemon trading card game, I wanted a, a game like this to be out. I wanted a uh, an online version of the game that worked as well as this game does, and it just didn't exist. So here we are today. Um, in a way that we can actually do that. Those are my favorite sets. Nice. That's awesome. But now, yeah, here we are today in, in a way that we can actually play online with other people without having to be in the same room or unpackage all of our cards or do this out of the other. So it's very cool. I'm, I'm, I mean, the future is here, I guess. But it's really cool. Like, I've, I've loved this game for a long time, the, the trading card game and the collection aspect of it and everything. I think one thing that got me a little perturbed is the idea that um, they do like they do rare cards in the booster packs, um, but the rare cards that you get in the booster packs can be like basic Pokemon like Psyduck or they can be a Remorade or something like a Hollow Foil. I don't want those to be Hollow Foil. Like like this Dratini is a good example, and this card takes takes the place of a rare card that you could have gotten in a different way. So that's my biggest complaint about the game right now, but it's not that bad. I love this game. It's the RNG thing I hate sometimes. Yeah. The coin flips. I feel like I, I, I've gotten to a point where I can almost predict them. Cause I feel like the game's a little bit for, forgiving as far as coin flips go. Like, It seems like in some cases, like if it's, if it's the start of the game and your opponent could win the game by flipping heads, it's less likely to be heads. Not impossible, just less likely. But yeah, the, the random, even even just the, the fact that as you're drawing cards, um, whatever card you get next could also... Um, is also completely random, and you'd, you'd have no idea. So sometimes you just get totally, like, you, you just come out with, like, a really bad hand, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just it's just how you have to play. But that happens in the actual game, too, though, so it's not, it's not unheard of. But yeah, I do hate the... Uh, the randomness of the game. Uh, more often than not, it, it drives me nuts. Um, I guess we'll go with Psyduck. Psy? Can I get... I guess I don't really want in. I, I think I'm going to stick with this one. I played the game in real life, and I feel like real life is more forgiving. Yeah. I watched a tournament the other day. Um... I don't remember when it was exactly, but it was a tournament um, where someone had had made a mistake. Like they, they did something that was against the rules, and the judge had to come over and like they had to backtrack like four or five different steps. Um, <laughs> that's a good point. Um, but the judge came over and he like he helped them backtrack to a point where they were before this person made a mistake, which I didn't really think that was fair um i don't know I, I guess i guess it's the most fair thing that you can do is to just backtrack and, and fix everything and then go back to a point where you know you know that everything made sense but i still i felt like man it should have been if, if you made a mistake you know maybe maybe you mulligan that that match or maybe it's uh it's better to just um, oh man, I was hoping he wouldn't do that. Or maybe it's better to just uh, forfeit that forfeit that match or something. I don't know. Oh gosh, that was tough. Anyway, I know it's strange, but I feel like in real life I never draw a handful of energy cards. Um, yeah, Burning Shadows is coming out Friday, actually. I'm really excited for it. I haven't 
um, seen much on it. I mean, I've seen a little bit, but I haven't seen a whole lot. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be really awesome. It comes out on Friday. So I won't be playing this game Friday, but I will be playing on Tuesday. So if you want to stop by again Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll be playing uh, this game probably against a lot of people who have Burning Shadows, although I'm going to try to get some tokens in this game to be able to unlock new stuff. But yeah, Burning Shadows coming up on Friday. Really exciting. So he should be dead, right? Yeah, he's totally dead. I'm not even sure why I made him discard that energy card. So it's like 200 tokens to get a, a booster pack. Um, so it, it does take a lot. And if you do the tournaments, though, it's, it's a little bit easier to get booster packs if you do tournaments. Um, the problem is you have to win the tournaments, and that's actually kind of hard in itself. So it can take, it can take a lot of tokens to get what you need. You just gotta be, uh, you gotta save up. I used, I used to play this game every single day, every single Monday through Friday. And when I first started doing that, I was playing, I mean, all the time. Like, literally, I was playing, I mean, pretty much all day Saturday, all day Sunday. It was, it was crazy. Um, uh, but while, when I was doing that, I was able to get so many tokens, and, and the challenges help you, too. So the challenges of the day... If you can build a certain deck based on a certain thing, um, it can definitely help. That's not what I wanted to do. There is a Psyduck in there, so I want to get him out. I thought there was a uh, Team Flare Grunt in my hand. That's what I was going for. That's unfortunate. I, th I think I'm in okay shape right now. Just got to deal the uh, 120 damage, let him retaliate, and then this side duck can come out with this gold duck once the once the special energy takes it does its thing. So, been playing the game for three years. I've only been on for about just over a year. So, oh great, I'm not gonna have that gold duck anymore. That is the worst. That is not what I wanted to happen. This is going to be challenging. But yeah, I've been playing for just over a year. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I've had a really great time in this game. Um I don't think this is going to work. Hmm. I mean, this could work. Let's see. Confusion wave. But the whole, the whole trading card game in general, I've had an on again, off again relationship with it. And I feel like it's, it's been a great, It's been a great, like, way to get me to think a few steps ahead. So whatever I'm doing in my life, I can always think a few steps ahead, ahead thanks to this game. Ah, uh, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew he was gonna get me. Twenty. Hmm. 
I just need a gold duck. That's not what I needed. But I can get that. That could help. Let's see. Let's attach that. Oh, it's already there. Let's attach this. Psyduck in. Give him three cards. Give me five. Golduck right there. Now I can get the other cards. I could actually win this one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but I could win this one. Hope I do. Hope I do. Let's see. So I don't need to do 120. I just I only need to do um, 60, right? Because it's 180. Yeah. Hold on to one energy just just in case I need it for whatever reason. Two prize cards for killing a GX Pokemon. So there we go. And I can probably get another Remoraid if I need it. He better have a basic on the bench, otherwise he's going to have a really hard time. There it is. Good for him. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad he had one. So as long as I don't use in then I should be able to um, if I don't use in I should be able to KO him I'm, I'm worried that he's going to have a Dragonair or a Dragonite I mean but if he does he's just going to put it on here which I'm going to go ahead and KO that Pokemon now so there you go there you have it. Pokemon KO'd. And it is on like Donkey Kong. It is ill like Kim Jong. I, I like his deck. The deck that he had was a deck that I tried to experiment with a little while ago. And I was never able to make that deck work. So it's a, it's a really good idea, but it's super hard to get that deck rolling. So, four tickets. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Let's do one last match. And depending upon what the prize is, we'll move on from there. So, this will be the last match. I may not be able to open up another pack of cards today, but I will open up whatever um, uncommon chests that I have. Now, the uncommon chests are, for the most part, usually pretty disappointing, but we'll see how this one goes. I'm going to try to play this game a little bit more over the weekend and maybe a little bit a little bit every day until next week so I can have so I can buy some Burning Shadows packs, which it might be better if I if I am not able to buy one today so I can buy more Burning Shadows on Tuesday next week. So regardless, I will be back. This coming Tuesday, next week at 7 p.m. Eastern for another episode of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. But stick around. There might be some cool stuff happening today. Who knows? Who knows? Vulpix, Vulpix, and Remoraid. So I'm guessing there's definitely a, a Ninetales GX in that deck somewhere. Ninetales GX can be a little tough to deal with, but I'll stick around if you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh. I'm always going to be around. I actually do videos quite often. Um, on my Twitch channel, I do a lot of streaming for Pokemon and Animal Crossing. Um, kind of needs Starmie. 
now that I'm looking at it. I also do videos on like shiny hunting for Pokemon. I also do videos on Splatoon and, and all kinds of other stuff. So if you've not done it yet, hit that follow button because I am... I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm cool. Let's do some confusion here. Maybe maybe that'll help. I don't know if it's going to help or not. But we're going to try. We're going to try. Confuse both active Pokemon. This could be this could be a recipe for success here. As long as my opponent gets hit with the uh well, as long as my opponent does not evolve into into Ninetales GX, then I should be able to get at least one KO. Ooh, Sycamore. That is going to be... That's kind of a desperation move at this point, using Sycamore. Discard all of your cards and get seven new ones. There's the GX. Ice Blade does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Blizzard Edge for 160. Discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. And Ice Path GX. Move all damage counters from this Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. Ooh. Ouchie. Was that 6? Move 6 damage counters? Or move all damage counters? I don't like that one. If I do a ton of damage to that Pokemon, he can just switch him back over to me and kill me. And also heal himself, so... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And only two energy cards to get it started, so... <sighs> if I can somehow get him... Deny all the energy that he's attaching, then maybe I can... I can pull something off on this Ninetales, but... I am not going to hold my breath. This is the only chance I have. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. It was all I had. I might be able to pull a... Actually, that was actually kind of good. So, Starmie, I was really hoping for that Starmie to come out. I only got one energy card, though. Which is enough for the KO. Let's get it. So, <laughs> I was pretty sure that... So this Ninetales is going to come out. Okay, so what, what, what I was going to say a second ago is this uh, this beacon attack was... It got him two cards that he definitely needed. And I used in to shuffle those cards back into the deck. So the attack that he was kind of going out of his way to, to do ended up not working in the long run. So... Twenty extra damage. This is gonna be. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be really rough. I'm willing to bet he has a ton of energy cards here too. So, I don't think this is gonna be a victory for me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay optimistic, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna be a victory. It's probably gonna be, a very sad. <laughs> a very sad loss. <clears throat> I can deal with 60 damage. It might be good. I mean, this Starmie is going to be dead, though, so I, I really wish I had not I had a better plan. Oops, I almost attached that. I don't want to do that. I mean, if I'm lucky, and if I'm really lucky, my opponent does not have any more energy cards. 
But that's like super lucky. That's like the luckiest person could get in like ever. <laughs> Ultra ball. Another nine tails. That's the nine tails that he was wanting to get earlier to attach to here. Energy. There it is. <laughs> 50 damage to this uh, Starmie. For the KO. It's a pretty good chance with this uh, Sycamore, though, I'll be able to get two energy cards and deal 120 damage, which really isn't that much. I don't really want to do that. Oh, man. It's going to be a classic steamroll situation. Ouch. Why? Okay, so, well, I really have no choice but to use Sycamore at this point. Drop this, drop this, get these two going. Oh, only one, okay, cool. Um, I can get a Starmie. I'm I'm really I'm in a really rough situation right now. There's there's nothing I can do. Nothing that's gonna make any sense at least. <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna do something really risky. This is like this is a mind game. This is extremely risky. My opponent's probably like, what are you doing? Why did you do that? I did 20 damage, so he'd get up to 80. And the GX attack won't kill me. <laughs> so... This is this is not going to go well. Uh, thank you, uh, Li four two two zero two five nine. Thank you for that follow. I really appreciate it. You are the best of the best. So I'm probably going to use that attack again because his GX attack won't kill me. I'm really hoping that he does the GX attack. And okay, that's fine too. Let's go ahead and get uh, Octillery out here. Ooh, you know what? I don't have to do that again. I can use Professor Kukui to deal 20 extra damage, so it'd be 140 plus 80 should be enough for the KO. I'm a genius. I hope you guys know that. Uh, that Starmie's dead, so I, I don't know why. I don't want to attach that to anything just yet. So here we go. 140 damage. KO. Two prize cards. Another star, star U, which might work. Um, of course, got another, another nine tails to worry about here, so that's going to be... It's going to be a challenge. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a huge challenge. Fifty damage to one of my Pokemon, probably the Star You. Oh, Octillery. Okay. That's probably a safe. A safe move. What's in here that I, I need back? Starmie. Let's get these. Uh, get this Star you and this Starmie back into the deck, and then we'll use Sycamore to possibly get them back out. Let's 
drop that, um, drop that, and oh, let's do this first. I may not have a chance on the next turn, so meh. Oh, I kind of need that, but oh well. That artillery. Darn it. I don't have any energy cards. <sighs> I can do scratch. <laughs> That's a terrible sound effect. I apologize to the people at home for, <laughs> for that sound effect. Or if you're at school or if you're somewhere else, um, I apologize. I apologize. My, my throat's a little bit raw, too, so I'm <laughs> having a hard time. I'm fighting for this win. I'm, I just want you to know, like, I'm not going down without a fight on this match. So my opponent is free to use that attack if they want to. In. That could help me more than it, more than it hurts. <laughs> I apologize that I watched this stream in my man thong. Well, no apology necessary. <laughs> so my opponent has to make a choice: is he going to KO the artillery or the star me? Try some tea. Oh, that's a good, that's good advice. I actually have uh, green tea. I think I have, like, green tea at, at, in the kitchen. So I think I will try that. I like to try to, like, talk through what I'm doing during these videos, and sometimes it it's a lot more demanding than other times. So it is all good. Green tea causes cancer. Rut row. We don't want that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get Sycamore. Get seven new cards. Which may or may not be a good idea. But I need something to happen here. And this is not what I was hoping would happen, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and Oh, I should put I should have put that on Starmie. I made a huge mistake right there. I'm hoping that doesn't cost me the game, but we'll see. So here I've I've got this nine tails against the ropes. Don't want to do both, just one to bring it to 80. Next turn, I'm going to do both and use this Kukui to do the extra 20 damage. I think I've only had like, I've only had one like cup of green tea in the last, gosh, like, oh no, not, prof not Pokemon Center Lady. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I've only had like one cup of it in, in like the last month. It lasts like probably seven or eight months. I'll, I don't drink it very often. So if it's going to stain my teeth, it's going to take like, like 60 years or something. Okay. We all knew that was going to happen. I really wish I'd kept that Pokemon. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I can't I can't do what I want to do. What's in here that I could actually get? Oh, you know what? Oh, it's right here. Never mind. That one? 
Yeah. Okay. So let me let me do this. For Skyla. And Skyla for Pokemon Stretcher. And Pokemon Stretcher for Star U that I'll put on the bench. Would you like it in a house? Would you like it with a mouse? <laughs> or do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. That's super risky. Just get the star you. Okay. Attach this here. Um, we're going to do the 60 damage here. I do not know what you think of me. But with a mouse, I would not drink green tea. <laughs> would you like it here or there? Would you like it anywhere? For you see, I would drink the green tea. If it didn't stain all of my teeth. That was kind of that was a bad rhyme. Bad rhyme. My opponent has to make a choice. I can KO his nine tails GX right now. On the next turn. And I really want to <laughs> because I hate that card. I hate it. I really want to KO it. I, I just come on, please, please, please. Oh, no, that's that's the worst. Oh, darn it. exactly what I did not need. So there's the KO. So the abilities aren't going to work this turn. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> I do not like green tea here or there, not in a house, not with a mouse. I do not like green tea. I do not like it. Sam, I am. I'm going to take a huge risk here. Let's evolve. And let's go ahead and use in. Ugh. Not quite what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh goodness um, this is probably going to be a loss I'm, I'm coming to terms with it very slowly it's uh, no not what I wanted you to do I needed that I really did so all I have left is this uh, this gold duck that's all I can do. I get the star me back at least, but it's not it's not gonna be enough. <sighs> I mean, I don't think anything's good good is gonna come of this. One sixty. There it is. That was that was the end of the match. Oh goodness. I fought so hard for that one. I really wanted that one. But it was not in the cards. Ah, you see what I did there? That's good stuff. Alright. Well, 
let me go ahead and go into my collection, open up that last uncommon chest, and then I'll call it a night. Uh, once again, I do want to thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me today. If you haven't already done it, hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button if you're catching me on YouTube right now. Hit that uh, like button and post some comments down below. Um, and of course, I'll be back on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time with another exciting episode of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Catch me there or catch the rerun on YouTube. Card today is... Oh, look at that. It's a Starmie. Sweet! Awesome. We saw this uh, card earlier. The ability lets you discard a card and grab two water energies from your discard pile into your hand. Starfreeze does 30 damage and might paralyze if you flip heads. So, there we go. So, I'm going to sign off tonight, folks. Thanks again for tuning in hanging out. Um, if you can't get enough of Pokemon Training Card Game Online, catch me next week. Until then, or catch me on the weekend, too, for any other uh, streams that you might want to see. There's a Splat Fest going on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I'll probably be playing Splatoon a lot. But also Pokemon, um, Shiny Hunting, and Animal Crossing. But until then, folks, I'll catch you on the flippity-flip.